Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Gemini for December 2020. So I'd just like to begin by saying welcome to all of our new subscribers and anyone who might be new to the channel for the first time. So I'd like to invite you to um, subscribe and to select the all notification bell so you'll be aware of the content as well as to like this video um, as this helps with the algorithms and the information of this channel getting out there. On my channel each week I offer um, daily, I'm sorry, well, the weekly angel readings that I post here um, every Saturday, and those are general readings. Also, there are other general readings that I post um, for the daily card messages. I um, post them Monday through Friday on this channel on the community board post. They're written and also on my Facebook page. So you can find um, those through description link below from my Facebook and Twitter account. Um, and uh, lastly, I've been offering um, my half hour angel reading since the pandemic for of $77 for one full hour. And this is available to all of my clients, previous clients. Um, there's no limit um, uh, as long as the offer is available. Okay. And so you would just go to my web page, theangelschool.com, and you would go to the service page. You would click on the $77 half hour reading. And within uh, 24 hours on a business day, I will send you a confirmation email noting the special offer for one full hour. And in that will, um, be the availability um just instructions for you to send your availability so i can create your reading be aware that um that the readings will be um take about two weeks okay so let's take a deep breath together And just really allow yourself to be centered within the heart space of your soul. And really being aware of the, I was just seeing um, an image of a female um, just stepping out and with so much confidence and I feel like that, you know, these is, all these things are symbolic. There is this, well, I'm actually seeing sort of someone who was sort of vulnerable, like um, someone who's, when I see a naked behind it, it's my symbol for vulnerability. And then it shifted to this woman with this kind of poodle skirt and, you know, um, high heel sort of sandals. I don't know how to describe things. But it was the sense of her just walking out with confidence. So it's this shift from... Um, you know, feeling vulnerable to maybe move into, into feeling more confident. And they just showed me a little heart. Um, and so this tells me that there may be a shift for you where you've just been feeling a little um, out of character, feeling a little down, um, maybe just a bit confused and not knowing um where what kind of direction maybe almost feeling like you maybe just wanted to hide you know for a little bit and now that a shift is occurring where you feel like yourself again and you feel like stepping out um you know sort of onto the runway of life and um, presenting yourself and so this this could be a very powerful thing they're showing me a crown so there's this um um, again, they're using this a woman, and I, whether it's your male or female, I think it has to do with this um, this intuitive aspect of ourselves, and so that you're 
you're finding your sense of authority. So the crown for me is representing that sense of authority and power and um, decision. And so you may be on this, be making some really important decisions in this month that's putting you on this path. Um, maybe this decision is so important and so crucial that it just really opens your heart, makes you receptive to um, new opportunities and, and just brings on this, this confidence. Okay, so let's take a look at the Archangel you'll be working with this month and the uh, message. All right, so this is the um, death card. So this definitely speaks to that, you know, a, a great transformation sort of unfolding for you. And, um, and that you're really um, putting something behind you and you're working on moving forward. And, you know, um, that, that whole, you're just, but the thing is, this card is, re is titled Release. So it's about you letting something go. It could be something that was on your mind, something you've been holding in that's been creating a lot of anguish for you. And like, I almost get a sense like you got really sensitive. You let something really bother you. You let you care too much, maybe with other somebody else was thinking or their perspective about something you did or you offered. Maybe it was like you you had this job that you did and or this um, thing that you created, you put it out there, and then, you know, um, maybe the feedback wasn't what you wanted, or some, something caused you to kind of like uh, clam up a little bit and, and lose kind of faith in, uh, in your usual and normal sense of confidence. So now, for whatever reason, you're just ready to move on and you're ready to get back out there and you're ready to face this and you're ready to face, you're ready to face the, the world with your truth. You, you, you're understanding that, um, that unless you are truly yourselves, yourself and, and, and that you die to those aspects of your ego that would want to keep taunting you and um, causing you not to, to respect who you are, that um, you can never really be truly free. And so you, it's a sense of you set yourself free. And in that way, you, you're willing to die, to release those things that would hold you back. So this is the helper of action, which would be the Knight of Wands. And you know, the the Knight of Wands is somebody who just is always ready to jump in, jump into the action, um, you know, head first um, and then looking last. And so, I don't know, I, I feel like, um, you know, you've learned some really valuable things from this. And I'm not saying that this is necessarily a bad thing um, because some people just have really good instincts, right? And so you may have um, learned that um, the thing that you need to just really add and sort of support even more is to trust your instincts. You know, don't, don't let people talk you down about you know, the way you respond and how you do things, but let, let it be sort of a, a reaffirmation of your instincts that, you know, when something tells you to jump, go for it, you, you have really good instincts that, that always allows you to bounce back, to recover. So anything that could go wrong, yeah, but you know how to recover very quickly and I know it can be a little tiring and so you can make better decisions about what's worth it that might be one of the changes that one of the lessons that you learn like what's really worth it to take that leap of faith or to jump in and you know do this kind of um, work for so it's all about just you know having that next level awareness um, and aligning with what you know is in the best interest for you and what's really going to um, bring the outcome and of rewards that you're seeking. So being really more clear about that. 
All right, so let's see the message on the card here. And it says, you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. Okay? It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. <laughs> so get busy, follow your instincts, and have fun. So what I just said was right on. I couldn't even see the message. I don't know what it is today with my my eyesight and the viewfinder. I hope you're not um, having as much trouble reading as I am. All right. So you or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. So, you know, the thing is that things just kind of come easy to you. And again, you have this natural ability and these natural instincts to jump in and all of your skills and your abilities just deploy, help you to recover, help you to bounce back, get on your feet. And so you're really quick, this is what the word fast, um, you're really quick on your feet, you're, you know, you, you can, you can deal, you're not, you know, you're very, um, you can really function in these high pressured situations. Again, new difference is you knowing ahead of time what's really worth it for you. That would be the new thing I feel like that you would, that you would get out of this. Okay. Or that would come out of this. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and thank you for joining us. And may you have a beautiful, thrilling month, Gemini.